Hi guys, this is me, Rusty78609, live and in color from inside the White House at Guadalupe Mountains National Park in Texas, right on the Texas-New Mexico border at July the 6th, 2017, at about 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, close. It's beer 30, okay? And uh, inside the temperature right now is 81.8, which is okay. The humidity is very low, so that's very good. Got a nice breeze coming in from the rear of the White House, my pickup with a camper top on it. That's what's called the White House. And I'll just be here for one night, and then I'll boogie on somewhere else. Uh, where will that be? I'm not sure yet. But, you know, I, I brought the minimum of clothes, okay? I mean minimum. And I have to tell you, I still brought too much. I mean, I brought shirts I, I'll never, I won't wear. I mean, because I'll wear those shorts and the shirt I've got on for a week or, or more, maybe, depending if it gets dirty or not. As far as underwear and socks, you got to change those and T-shirts sometimes. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you, today, uh, I, before I came, I bought me a big bag of, uh, plastic bag of, of, um, uh, it's kind of, a uh, trail mix stuff, but it's more than that. It's got some, uh, chili pepper on it and stuff. I mean, it's kind of a peppery thing to have with beer. <clears throat> and I thought, well, I'll get that and have it with my beer today. So about, oh, whenever it was, a few minutes ago, I opened a beer and I, I opened the bag and I set the bag right, right here. Okay. Right beside me. And uh, it was a big bag, too. It held about a pound or more, about a pound. And it had, uh, you know, peanuts and chips and uh, little uh, things that looked like uh, pretzels. You know, it was, it, it was a mixture of all kind of little snack things, but it had the red chili powder on it and, and, and some other ingredients. Not, certainly not health food, okay? But it, 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 I thought it would make a good snack while I was having a beer, and then later on I'll take my whore's bath or birdie bath, and that'd be that. So, why is this shirt in the way? I don't know why she swallowed a fly. But anyway, back to the story. <clears throat> Just to show you how things can happen. I mean, it's, a, it's simple things that drive you totally insane, right? It, it, the major things, you just take them for what they are, but the little bitty things kind of get on you, right? So I was sitting here having my little chips and enjoying me a Miller Lite beer, cold, very cold, out of my Dometic CF-18 refrigerator. And I put my hand, the bag was right here, okay? I put my hand in the bag and the bag, the plastic bag, tore all the way down the side to the bottom. And guess what happened to that pound of nuts? You got it. All over everywhere, all right? I mean what you would call a total mess. And besides that, it has that little red powder on it, so you can't just brush it off, you need a vacuum cleaner. Do I have a vacuum cleaner? No, 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 I don't. So, but anyway, what I did was I gingerly, you know, swept them up into a pile, and then I picked them up a few at a time, and there's a fly that wants to commit suicide by a fly, one less fly in the whole universe. But anyway, so those little frustrating things can occur uh, anywhere, obviously, not just when you're camping, but when they camp, when they happen after you've driven for eight hours and you're just relaxing, then it becomes a little tedious, a little, a little, you know what I mean? Like that could be the one that pushes you over the edge. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> give me your neck. But anyway, uh, the trip is okay, and for those of you that are thinking about going camping, and you're, I'm 71, I'll be 72 very soon, it, you know, all I can say is uh, not the easiest thing you've ever done, all right? Uh, I've got a fan blowing on me right now. This is my O2 cool fan, and it's blowing right on me, and it's very comfortable right here, right now, and I got the breeze, I said, coming this way. I got the windows open, I got big windows, so it's okay, and... Uh, the bed is very comfortable. It gives me some more headroom. See, I got room while I'm sitting here. When I'm reading tonight, I'll have the, you know, I can sit up a little taller and have my little table and, and everything will work out okay. But it is very simply built. And uh, it's, yeah, I think it's, 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 
there's something psychological in us. You know, our nesting instinct, instinct, you know, we want to take a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? Just in case, just in case, you know, just in case it gets cold, you know, you're going to take that jacket or you, just in case, just in case, just in case. And the next thing you know, you got a camper or tent or whatever filled with crap that you're probably not ever going to put on. And that's the way I look at this stuff now, even though there's not much here. But it's still a lot more space. The table is a lot better. You've got a lot more space on the table, which is good. And I've changed a few things. You wouldn't even know what it was. Just I just tweaked things a little bit. And uh, But it, so far, so good. I got the solar sitting out right now. The battery's already fully charged. Of course, I had the uh, refrigerator inside the truck on the uh, passenger side floorboard plugged into the cigarette lighter while I was traveling so I wouldn't have to use the battery because it's really easy to just lift it up and set it back in the uh, inside the camper top whenever I camp and then of course I got my solar out and everything's cool even me I mean I'm surprised I was a little concerned about that it may be a little hot but it's not it's, it's actually very nice and it shows the, the humidity at uh, excuse me 21 percent 21 percent which is actually a little high for out here but that's still not much it's very comfortable so uh, another thing the internet access is about a zero uh, there it's two bars but it's it's worse than dial up all right uh, so I'll post these videos I'll post a couple you'll probably be bombarded by videos tomorrow and the reason is uh, the videos I've I did uh, one traveling video today that I can't upload. I'll do this video, and then in the morning I'll do a video about uh, uh, you know the campsite and how what this thing looks like on the inside, so you'll get a good picture of what I'm doing. And then when I arrive at another campsite, and possibly on the way, I'll do a driving video and all that because I I, I look at this like uh, you know you guys are my friends or like my extended family, and. Uh, that's the way it'll be, you know, and, and of course, as, as, as to comment call, I'll do those as I can. I'll try to do one tomorrow in, in uh, Carlsbad uh, because there's good internet access there, or not good internet, but I have a good Verizon signal in Carlsbad, and i got to stop and get uh, gas and uh, maybe a few things, but, uh, but I got me a spatula because I'm going to do me some, I got some corn tortillas, and I'm gonna put a little cheese on them with some refried beans, and uh, I got a little pan, I got some aluminum foil, put a little oil on that aluminum foil so the tortillas don't stick, and I'm gonna melt the cheese on the beans and stuff, and I have two of those, that'll be my supper while I have my glass of wine and read a book, and uh, but on and on it goes, guys, so, you know, I know my, my, view, my views are, will drop like a rock because as far as doing you know product reviews and stuff like that I guess I can but I've reviewed everything in here except the screws in the truck you know now these screws came from they're very good you know or this toothpick came from and this thing here came from you know but I am gonna do this channel my way and I think uh, you'll enjoy it I hope so because it's just gonna be what it is right now I'm gonna travel around when I can and as long as I can and you'll get to go along for the ride and listen to me do shit like this. Or poo-poo, excuse me, poo-poo. So, uh, right here where I am, I'm camped where the uh, uh, RVs park. And uh, it's okay, There's, I think there's three other people, but here's the way it works. They're starting to come in now. The people, for some reason, leave one campsite to arrive at another campsite at five o'clock in the evening. Well, I gotta tell you, that is a bad habit to get into. You wanna leave one habit to arrive at another campsite before 2 p.m., I guarantee you. I mean, if you, if you wanna be smart, now if you wanna be, you know, caught out where you can't find a campsite, well then do it any way you want to. But be that as it may, I just wanted to say hello and that, that frustrating thing with the chips, God dang, or that, stuff I had, trail mix, whatever the hell it was. I mean, when I did that, it's kind of like, you know, if you had a bowl of oatmeal that you just prepared with all the ingredients and you accidentally spilled it on the floor of your house, it's that kind of feeling, you know what I mean? Or something that's really hard to clean up, you know, something that just goes everywhere, you understand? You know, it, it doesn't just sit in one spot where you can pick it up and put it in the trash. No, 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 no. 
it scatters out into a jillion little pieces. And of course that stuff's got, a little, it's a little greasy and it's got that little red stuff on it. So I had to be careful with all that, but I got it done and I got it cleaned up because one of the rules I live by, face it, you know, if something screws up and you're by yourself, you got to do it, whatever it is. So having said that, guys, I said that about 10 times, didn't I? Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy USA made when you can. Drink plenty, of, drink plenty of water. Two or three quarts a day won't hurt you. You may pee like a racehorse or two or three peckered possum, but you will feel a hell of a lot better. Take deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth several times a day. That relieves stress, and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure, helps you live a little longer, and that's what this is all about. That's probably one of the, or probably several, there's several reasons why I'm here doing this. One is I want to, and the other one is my health's okay. So do you want to be there too, right? So ha having said all that, I can't upload this video today. So we'll do it manana. T-shirt, Rusty78609. Yeah, I got a lot. It, the fan is really, you hear it? You can barely hear it. It's a, a O2 cool fan. I got it on low, and it really helps. It does. It's so nice to have it blowing on me, and that's all enabled by the solar, the AGM battery and uh, the 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. Anyway, adios guys. Bye-bye.